Uh, one thing that I'm really not into that I used to enjoy uh, is debating with people on the internet. You're going to be the same asshole and you're going to be just as sexist or just as racist or just as mean or just as wrong yeah. as you were uh, when I met you. When the fur is finally peeled off the animals, their furless bloody bodies are thrown onto a pile of other animals who have gone before them. More silence around this than any other issue we've ever seen. If you have an issue with fur, it already exists. You can't put it back on that you, animal. You shakes you to your core. I mean, it, it, it's difficult to, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't you know, make sense. this is the, one of the most heinous crimes that a person can commit. I'd like people to see what's happening. I've developed a voice that there are people who listen to me. And, and so I think you'd be gorgeous in fur. But the bigger issue is I, um, I wear exclusively vintage furs. <laughs> <laughs> um, not because I care about animals as much as I'm poor. Kind of a terrible world we live in. This is just like not even a fair fight. Especially to someone who doesn't have that, that wrote something that doesn't have the ability to equally yeah. defend themselves. But when somebody who has a pretty solid history of being on the, you know, the quote unquote right side yeah. and at least trying to do the right thing, it's just, I mean, you're wasting it at this point now this animal or these animals have died for absolutely no reason. It Animals are bludgeoned, have their necks stomped on, and are then hung alive, their hearts still beating, five to ten minutes after they are skinned. People were just like out to show their fur. And like with the hat, the gloves, like those random like tail things, you yes. know. Um, but yeah, I like, I, it started off as a joke. I was like, I'm gonna go in for Thanksgiving and bring back a fur. Mm -hmm. uh, that was like a joke when it was like kind of warm. Did it. I did it. I, I told you. I was you. right, and no one's going to yeah. care about this in Nobody's going to care. A skinned raccoon dog who had had enough strength to lift his head and stare directly into the camera. This is the face of an animal who is now a coat, a collar, a purse, or just a pair of gloves. Those random, like, tail things, yes. you know. I, I own multiple furs. I love fur. You need to be ensconced in luxury and glamour and yeah. warmth all at the same time, and fur is absolutely the best way to do that. Animals are bludgeoned, have their necks stomped on, and are then hung by their hind legs or tails and skinned alive. As workers cut the fur off the animals' bodies, they kick and writhe in pain because they're still alive. Um, whatever that means. Whatever that means. It's, it's so hard to talk about this stuff. Yeah. Like, no, 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 we're, we're nobody, we're nothing, we're, you know. I'm in like a fur coat moment right now. It's a moment. It is freezing outside and... You need a second skin. I need a second skin. Um, I have maybe the, maybe now the most like politically correct opinion on real fur. Because I come from a a line of women that appreciate real fur yes. and that's rubbed off on me. And thinking about like this winter, I see myself bringing a fur back from Atlanta. Um, do you, you do own a fur. I, I own multiple furs. I love fur. I'm from Chicago. Yeah. So that's the conversation could end right there. One fur story that I have, and I think you'll appreciate this, is Mr. Mallory was giving my aunt furs to go bring business back. Yeah. And I think like all the furs that have like spread out throughout my family are like like dirty furs. <laughs> like, like, like which I appreciate. Yeah. Like whatever fur I bring back is probably Mr. Mallory. Mr. Mallory fur. Fur is um, special for black women. Yeah. And I think it's time for you all to join us. I'm there. I'm in, like ten days in New York. I like I will be out here in fur. One of my favorite things about both inaugurations, because uh, it was so cold so both cold. times, 
I remember like one of my early Facebook albums was just Black Women <laughs> for 08 <laughs> DC. It was so good. I always tell you how much you remind me of Morse Day. And so there's just something about you, something about your look, your, your glorious curls and your warm Appreciate smile. That. The lens itself too, fur. You deserve it. At another animal market in China, Investigators discovered trucks loaded with up to 800 dogs and cats in tiny wire cages. Many of the animals still had collars on, a sign that they had once been someone's beloved companion. The animals are still alive and tossed from the tops of trucks like garbage. When the cages hit the ground, the animals' bones are instantly shattered. And after that, they're bludgeoned, hanged, or strangled with wire nooses so that their fur can be turned into trim or trinkets. You can't, it's, you can't patch that animal back up. You can't put them back together. So, it's just, I mean, you're wasting it at this point. Now this animal or these animals have died for absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. The good thing about being a big, tall black girl is that there's nobody in PETA who is going to run up on me with a, a can of water, yeah. let alone a can of from R. Kelly. <laughs> I'm not the smartest person in the room. And that's rubbed off on me.